PSC, primary scrambling code. WCDMA, wideband code division multiple access, PSC, primary scrambling code, is a code used to identify and synchronize mobile stations, MS, with the base station, node B, in a WCDMA network. The PSC is a 9-bit code used to differentiate between different cell sites and to synchronize the MS with the node B. In a WCDMA network, each node B is assigned a unique PSC, which is transmitted in the cell broadcast channel, CBCH, to inform the MS about the cell site. The MS can use the PSC to identify the node B, measure the signal strength, and initiate the handover process when moving between different cell sites. The PSC is also used in the initial access process, where the MS searches for the strongest signal from different cell sites. During the initial access process, the MS searches for the PSC of the strongest cell site and synchronizes with it by sending a random access preamble with the PSC code. The PSC is one of the parameters used in cell selection and reselection in a WCDMA network. The MS measures the signal strength and quality of different cell sites and selects the one with the strongest signal and the highest quality. The PSC helps the MS to identify the cell site and avoid interference from other cell sites with the same frequency. In summary, WCDMA PSC is a code used to identify and synchronize mobile stations with the base station in a WCDMA network. It is used in the cell selection and reselection process, handover process, and initial access process. The PSC helps the MS to identify the cell site and avoid interference, ensuring better signal quality and network performance. Factors can affect the performance and reliability of the WCDMA PSC. Several factors can affect the performance and reliability of the WCDMA PSC in a mobile network. Some of the most important factors that can impact the PSC include 1. Interference from other signals. Interference from other wireless signals, such as from other cellular networks, radio stations, or electronic devices can cause signal distortion and degradation, leading to poor PSC performance. 2. Cell site density. The density of cell sites in a given area can affect PSC performance. 2. In areas with high cell site density, there is a greater chance of interference between the PSCs of different cell sites. 3. Obstructions. Obstructions such as buildings, hills, trees, or other physical barriers can attenuate the PSC signal, causing reflection or diffraction and leading to signal distortion and attenuation. 4. Signal strength. The signal strength of the PSC can impact the performance of the WCDMA network. 4. Weak signal strength can lead to poor signal quality, dropped calls, and slow data transfer speeds. To improve the performance and reliability of the WCDMA PSC, network operators can implement various techniques such as 1. Antenna placement and orientation. Proper placement and orientation of the antennas can help reduce interference and improve signal strength. 2. Interference mitigation. Interference mitigation techniques, such as frequency hopping, adaptive equalization, and dynamic channel allocation, can help reduce the impact of interference on the PSC. 3. Network optimization. Optimizing network parameters such as the handover threshold, signal-to-interference ratio, SIR, threshold, and timing advance can improve signal quality and network performance. 4. Expanding network coverage. Expanding network coverage by adding more cell sites, repeaters, or microcells can help improve PSC performance in areas with poor coverage.
In summary, improving the performance and reliability of the WCDMAPSC requires a combination of various techniques and solutions. By implementing these solutions, network operators can ensure better PSC performance, improved network performance, and enhanced user experience. Thank you.